What's up guys, Shadow by 16 here, got another Black Ops 3 sniper gameplay for you. I'm gonna give a spoiler right at the beginning of this video, we lose this game. We choke it, we lose, but I play pretty well, uh, get a bunch of pretty good snipes in this video. Starting right off here from the beginning, I think I drop like a triple kill, something, something pretty nice, something, something nice, hold on. Let me watch it for a second because I don't remember what happened, but I get, it's something nice. Ah, there's one, two, three. And then I just throw a barrage of sniper fire out there. I don't hit anybody, you know. You just, you know, with the uh, no no aim assist, sometimes you just you just gotta throw some bullets out there. And you gotta hope for some luck, and you just miss them all. But that's okay. But either way, this video I'm gonna be going into uh, my competitive gaming uh, history, pretty much, which is pretty long. I was playing um, games since I was good God, young, very young. I had an Atari. And I'm not that old. I mean, I'm old, but I'm not that old. And then I had a Nintendo, and then a Sega Genesis, and then all the way up, you know, all the good stuff. But, you know, nothing started really getting competitive until Halo came out. I used to have all my friends over to my house. We'd have LAN pretty much tournaments, like, every weekend at my house when I was young. Uh, so it was really cool. And I was always uh, the best, pretty much the best, besides my friend Steve, who... Was probably like second best there. Well, I don't know. It depends. Depends on what game. But usually uh, we were we were tied or, or even. And um, so it was Halo 2. Halo 2 that we got really good at. And they started having local tournaments at the at the city I, I live near every every other Saturday, and it was 2v2 tournaments. So me and my friend Steve were like, hey, you know, might as well. And we went to our first tournament, and being I don't know, maybe 15, 16, going to your first tournament, it's like, my god. I don't get nervous as a person too often, but, but like, playing in front of people, and all these people watching you, and, and you'd put in, I think, 20 bucks between both of you, or 20 bucks each, and then the winners would bring home, like, 80%, so we'd go there, give 20 bucks each, so it was, like, 40, and then there'd be, like, 10, 15, 20 teams, so we'd leave with, like, 600 bucks if we won. And 600 bucks as a... 15, 16 year old is is amazing. So uh, we went to our first tournament, and our friend Sean and Matt also entered the tournament, and uh, they played the land tournaments with us. They ended up making it pretty far. I think we actually beat them in the semifinals. So it was a pretty good match. But so either way, we we play against. I think it's like round two. We play lock lockout, and we play. Uh, against the team who won last time, but it was double elimination. So we play against the team who won last time, and so we're like incredibly nervous, and then we, we end up playing them. <clears throat> we end up playing them, and it, it was to 25. I think we, we beat them 25 to maybe like 6 or 7. And just everybody just being in awe that we beat the people they couldn't beat by like by a lot, uh, so it was like a really cool feeling to have for the first time, 16 year old, playing against people. We don't really know how good we are, we just know we're better than our friends, pretty much. We don't know how good we are in terms of actually skilled wise compared to other, other players or other people. And <clears throat> so, we get in that game, we walk through all of our first couple games. I mean, people aren't even getting kills on us, and then we play our friends Sean and Matt in, in the semifinals or so, and we win. And then we go against that team that won last time in, in the finals. And there's got to be at least... There was my girlfriend, his girlfriend, and then there was 25, 30 people at each side of the consoles watching us play. And... I think the first map was, good guy, I'm not going to remember, guaranteed. No, no, I don't remember the first map. Either way, but we ended up we ended up winning handily. Second map goes to Zanzibar. And there's no BR starts. This was back when it, MLG was even, wasn't even on the scene too, too much. And so we had like assault rifle starts. They get both snipers on the map and lock us down in Zanzibar's base. And we end up just getting destroyed. Like every time we come out of any entrance, just they're really good snipers. So 
we ended up losing like 25 to 18 or something like that. And then last map, uh, it was all randomized, but last map we ended up playing uh, Terminal, also another big map with snipers on it. And it ends up coming down to 24 to 24. Nope, sorry, no, it wasn't that close. It was 24 to 23. We were winning. Uh, Steve, my friend, has the sniper, and I'm just hiding trying to cover him because I know they also have a sniper. And, like, my god, like, it's already the end of the video. Oh, it's not the end of the video. Okay, I was going to say, like, I'm not even halfway through my story. Uh, that's halfway of the first round. First round, I'm already 23-3. and three. Got some good snipes there. Like I said, we're winning 195, so it's kind of close, but we end up choking this pretty bad. I don't know how, because I'm straight slaying kids, but either way, 24-23. to 23, Steve has a sniper, and he gets rushed. He doesn't get rushed by some guy, but he finds some guy and um, basically just gets away. And then I try and kill him, and the guy, like, gets away with no shields, and we don't want to run out because we know the other guy has a sniper. So literally, like, mouth it. Like, I don't know if you ever, anybody who's watching this ever played anything, like, super competitively, but, like, when you're, like, I don't know if it's just, when I'm playing, my mouth gets dry, and, like, I'm not at my house set up, so, like, I'm kind of looking up at the screen, so it's not at the right angle I like it to be, and... You know, you know when you play games, everything has to be exactly how you're comfortable with it. And either that or it's, I don't know, it's just different. So either way, like, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. My mouth is dry. I don't have anything to drink. It's 24 to 23. I'm playing for money. Like, my God. And uh, Steve ends up finding a guy. I don't think he sniped him. He basically came up behind a guy crouching, and it was like a 10-minute... Yeah, I'm probably just I'm probably thinking it was ten minutes, but it was like a I don't know, two and a half minute time frame where like we're hiding, they're hiding, nobody's saying anything, and then Steve comes up behind the dude and kills him. And we win our first tournament. And that feeling as a like I said, I don't know, sixteen, fifteen year old, like I just made Well, that was back then, I was making I mean minimum wage back then was only like five, six bucks, so I mean I just made more in that one evening than I made like the entire summer like working. So what I actually did was I actually um, stopped working as much and um, I was like you know if we just stay good and these are every two weeks and they don't start to lose business we uh I, I pretty much just use this as a job uh, so, so I did. Uh, we went to the next tournament, same thing, walked all over everybody. Um, nothing even close. The last match actually came down to same exact thing. We won game one, but we were the, um, it was best two of three. They had to beat us twice. Um, because they were, it was a loser's bracket type situation, and... They had to beat us twice, so we won again, and then won again, and then what we started to see was people stopped going because we were winning so often. We won like three or four in a row, and in, instead of there being 20, 30 teams, there was only like eight or nine. So they tried to do a, a 1v1 tournament instead, which ended up turning into us, us signing up again, and then... Sure enough, it ended up turning out to me versus Steve in the championship. So we just basically destroyed them and then played each other and we kind of just messed around and we split the split the money again pretty much. And then after that the the place closed down. Not because of not because of us like we were, not because like we kept winning. Um, that's why the tournaments kind of stopped. Oh no, there was one more time, one more time that Steve couldn't go, and my friend Jordan came with me, and we also won that one too. Um, Jordan wasn't nearly as good as Steve, but I mean, we still won, because I was, I was good at the game, so I'm running out of time here. So either way, Halo 2, then we got into Griff Ball, through that, all of our friends got together, we got into Griff Ball, and um, if you don't know what Griff Ball is, it's literally just a game type inside of Halo that became a joke. We decided to sign up, um, since then... Uh, if you don't know that I play Griff Ball, I do, and they pretty 
I wouldn't say good, pretty successful at it. I have more championships than anybody else in the entire world for Pro Circuit Championships. Uh, went to the 2014 RTX and played with Golden Boy commentating our game, which was pretty cool since you obviously know that from me playing Halo, I was a Halo fan. Uh, Golden Boy announcing our games was just really cool because if we were Halo fans, you know, esports and all that, watch... Um, used to watch Halo Esport in MLG, so having him commentary our game, we ended up winning. We won a bunch of headsets and um, pretty much swag and whatnot. So same thing, but... Um, and then this most recent year, 2015, there was an RTX 2015 championship where we played on the main stage at RTX in front of a couple hundred people and on stream um, at RTX. And our team as a whole won $5,000 for us. Um, so competitive-wise, like, you know, like I say, like in like a lot of my videos, I'm not the best. I'm pretty much just pretty decent at everything I play. Like, Smite, uh, pretty good. I won uh, Guitar Hero tournament. I'm good at Guitar Hero. All this, just random stuff. But, like, am I ever good enough to actually, like, make a career out of anything? Probably not. Um, I don't have time. I don't know why my strike went away, but you can see we're about to lose. But either way, um, so, like, never good to make a career out of any of this, but, you know, good enough to, I guess, make some entertaining videos. So, um, leave a comment on this video. Uh, leave a like if you like it. Leave a comment and every video for the next however many videos, I'm going to pick a winner from the comments. Uh, win a free pair of Spidey grips, which is basically Xbox One thumbstick grips. So if you leave a comment below, that'll enter you into the giveaway pretty much every video for the next little while. And then also a reminder, ended up being, where am I? 42 and 12. So I don't know how we lost, but we did. So a little bit of sniper gameplay there. And uh, if you like this video, like I said, leave a like, comment to be entered into the giveaway. Um... I need about still 250 more subscribers till I do my 2,000 subscriber montage video for sniping. Um, yeah, so that about does it for my basically competitive career in gaming. I don't know if I'll do it much anymore. Work and life pretty much have me too busy. But I'll make entertaining stuff, and hopefully it entertains people. So yeah. I don't really have an outro yet, except all we know is I just say okay, bye, so okay, bye.